Right folks, good morning. Here it is on the morning of the 15th of July. Bit overcast outside. Now, whose live were we watching the other day? It was our live. Oh, it's our live. Sorry. <laughs> I don't do lives. I fucking hate lives. They're all shit. Fucking hate them. Um, so while we was on a live, somehow we're, the conversation of a gentleman's relish popped up into the chat. So, we have just been to the Waitrose. Uh, I've tried gentleman's relish before. Have you? You haven't though, have you? I haven't tried gentleman's relish before. Yeah, so we've been to uh, Waitrose, we've picked up the uh, the weekend paper. Um, got very some nice recipes very in nice recipes in it, Waitrose. Yeah. Very, very nice. Mark Commode, he's wrote in it. Paul Kink at Kirkley, he's in it. Whoever he is. Uh, so anyway. And it's free. And it's free. It's free. What in this world nowadays is free? Hey, eh? Fuck all. I guess we paid for it at the checkout. Now. So anyway, while we're walking around and seeing this. Is it going to focus? Put your big fat moon face out of it. Put there you go. On. It's alright, it's there. Done it. Gentleman's relish. Uh, so, decided to pick it up. The gentleman's relish, it's delicious on hot toast. June has just uh, done me a supply of hot toast. Let's get the lid off. Oh. I don't know, right? I think it just pops off. Uh, it says peel to open. Does it? It says peel to open. Oh. So, you put. Ah, yeah, it's got a. It's like the old uh, toothpaste. Oh yeah, yeah. So I suppose. Nice little pot. Nice little pot. That'd be all right to keep your pins in. Yeah, I'll just put that there. What's in it? Anchovies. So you undo it like this. It's got a little silver. To appreciate the finer flavour of this relish, it should be used very sparingly. A bit like Marmite should be then. Yeah. Well, I like Marmite. I fucking love Marmite. Yeah, I know. But for a start off, you don't want to have Marmite thick, do you? you want uh, to it quite... It's been known as Patum Paperum. Is that Latin? Must be. So there it is. It's green. What is your shirt? Looks like a fucking dog poo in the fucking... No, it doesn't. Yeah, it does. If it didn't, I wouldn't have said it. Smells like fish food. Right, so, uh, <laughs> yeah. it is, isn't it? It is like fish. fish food. Uh, it don't say how to eat it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put a bit of butter on one round of toast. And then well, we... I would guess you need butter on it first, otherwise it's not going to spread that well, is it? Because it's quite a firm yeah. texture. So, butter on that one. There you go, folks. You can see it now. Well, that ain't very sparingly, is it, you fat? It looks like fucking mud. <laughs> Your face mask, that's what it looks like. Yeah. That's not very sparingly, Dave. Well. I'd scrape some of that off. That's it. So, I'm going to be having gentlemen's relish in my mouth. Go on then, let's see you. Let's tuck in. Can't try, try. Do you have some of my relish? Yeah, I, I tried it once before and I didn't like it. But I'm just wondering if that's because I don't think I expect it to, to be fish. I think if you go into it, Expecting fish. Salty. Yeah, well, I like that. That tastes like uh, smoked mackerel. I'm going for it raw. Very salty, but it. Don't you think smoked mackerel? Look it out. Smoked mackerel or kippers? <laughs> mackerel. If you like smoked mackerel and you like smoked kippers, you'll like that. I've changed my mind about that. I think I didn't like it before. It's because I wasn't expecting it to be fishy, a fish flavoured thing. Gentleman's Relish is a British commercial brand of anchovy paste. It is also known 
as Patum Pepperum. It was created in um, 1828 by an English Englishman nigh, named John Osborne. Well, he ain't that fucking Jack Osborne. Slapner, uh, Ozzy Osborne, Slapner. Um, it is a savoury paste with a salty and slight fishy taste and contains salted anchovies, butter, herbs and spices. Um, gentleman's relish on slang is spunk. So, Jack Howard on our live the other night was banging on about gentleman's relish, weren't they? Saying that it is jizz. So, he is right and so are you, my Junie. Yeah, I've now decided I love gentleman's relish. Winner, winner. You do need to go really steady on it though. Yeah, it is. get out. Um, it's traditionally eaten very thinly, spread on slices of hot buttered toast. We're right to butter the toast. Or either on its own with cucumber or mustard and cress sprouts. Uh, it can also be used, uh, it can also be added to mince meat for a, distant t a different tasting cottage pie. I think it's all up. Even that sounds fucking rude, doesn't it? Mm, I've, I've changed my mind. Or to the mixture uh, for fish cakes, potato cakes, croquets, croquettes. Uh, alternative, it can melt it into scrambled eggs or used as a topping for jacket spuds. It's an in, it is an ingredient in the dish sh uh, Scotch woodcock. It's just full of double entendres, isn't it? That would be nice, some thinly sliced bread, buttered, very thin smearing of that, and some sliced cucumber. Yeah. Yeah, I've changed my mind about that. Um, oh shit, I don't know how much it was. Oh, fuck, I've left the recipe in the- I think it's pretty expensive. Yeah, I thought it was three quid. Yeah, it sounds about right. I think. It's in the bag in the garage, sweetheart. <sighs> yeah, it's one of them things that you can't... I don't think you could put too much on your bread. I mean, like I say, when we have Marmite, I love Marmite, and I'll... The receipt's in the bag, yeah, isn't it? I like that. Yeah, I'll still look on the old thing. You know, this is cool. Internet. <clears throat> it is very salty though, isn't it? Mm. Yeah, I think it's good. Yeah, I like it's it. It's a very grown up taste. It is a grown up taste. It's a bit like, I don't know, what's, what, what don't you like as a kid but you grow into? Marmite. I didn't like no. Marmite as a kid, but I loved it growing up. Uh, sorry, as a grown up, as an adult. Cauliflower. No, I've always liked cauliflower. Sprouts. God, you are getting the mackerel taste coming through, yeah, aren't you? It, it, that hit me straight away, the smoked mm. mackerel, because I like smoked mackerel, don't I? Yeah, you love it, because I buy it, you don't know, I mix it all up in a... Yeah, and the mayonnaise and make you a smoked mackerel mayonnaise sandwich, don't I? Mm. And I like kippers as well, but mm. I don't like the bones. Get some Today the secret recipe is withheld from all but one employee of Else some Quality Food. Well, how do they work that out? Surely when we were making a recipe at work, when we used to make the plastic, when we were making stuff, you had a recipe, so everybody knew it. You call it it's not a secret, is it? What is it? So what if fucking... Bert has got a cold and he can't come in because he's self-isolating and he can't go in. What is that it? Does the old place shut down for fucking 14 days? You get it in Sainsbury's as well. I think the first but yeah, three quid. Three quid a pot. I tell you, I would be interested to hear his opinion on this. And that's um, our subscriber, Sid Cannon. And Mark the Pondering Man to be fair. I'm not saying go and buy it. But if you do ever buy it, I'll be interested in your opinion on this. In fact, yeah. everybody who has this, let me know your first your first thoughts on gentleman's relish in your mouth. Is it a shock when it hits the back of your throat or what? 
I thought it was uh, very nice. Yeah, I oh, did yeah, as well. Uh, not too much though. Too much should make you sick. Yeah. You don't want to be gagging on it, do you? No, definitely not. It don't look like your standard gentleman's radish though, does it? No, like you say, it looks like mud. Mm, yeah. It reminds me of a clay face mask that women put on their faces, you know? It Clean reminds me when you go to a beach and the side's gone out and it's like mucky sand. <laughs> yeah. yeah, it looks a bit sandy, doesn't it? In fact, it looks a little bit like our doodle when he used to be on the beach. <laughs> so, so, there you go, folks. That's, uh, do you want to finish this off, Jim? Because it's gone a bit salty for me. Too salty for you? I don't know. Uh, well, you've spread it a bit thick. You should have spread it a lot thinner than that. Yeah. I think it's going to be one of them that... It... Do you know what you might be better to do? Mix it in with a bit of butter first, so you only get a hint of it. I think it's good. Cool. Yeah, I like it. I like it. I've I think... changed my mind. I've changed it because I, I didn't like it. Yeah. But this, I, I do. I yeah, do I... Um... This should be nice with a poached egg on the top. Yeah. There's loads you could do with it, isn't there? Mm. It's not... Um... It's not one to run away from, is it? I think it's a really old thing as well, isn't it? Yeah. What's the blinis? It says blinis. you can have it. What is it? It says you can have it on toast crackers or a blin. It's them little thingies you get into it in posh. What, Verucas? Shut up. Posh restaurants posh. and stuff and weddings and stuff. Does that mean now that we, we, we shop at Waitrose, we're posh? No. In fact, I don't find Waitrose that expensive, provided you buy the essentials. Yeah. We like Waitrose because it's just up the road from us. Whereas, oh, yeah. whereas the big supermarkets, we've got to travel. It's great. If you've got a Waitrose around where you live, folks, you've got to pop in and watch all the rich people just fucking walking around in the shit Armani jeans. And the, it's like, if you, just because it's Armani, it doesn't mean it's right. It's, so it's Armani makes some shit. You do it? get some eccentric people walking around. Oh, yeah. It is. It's a, it's a different world in theory. Uh, walking around Waitrose, it's one of the but, funniest but things. I do around. like it, and it's it's no more expensive for us than Tesco because yeah. we've got to travel to get to Tesco, we don't remember the price yeah. of fuel the way it is. But I like it, yeah, I like it as well. Um, right, we'll leave that one there, then, folks. Uh, like I say, um, put your comments down below. Don't like me, don't subscribe to me. I'm not doing all that shit, but I would like to. I'm interested in people's comments, I like to know what they think of certain things. What do you want? I like strange things though, don't I? I like things like olives. Keep running up that hill. Keep running up that hill. Olives and. That's on the buses. Yeah, I, I like all that stuff. Yeah, you like food. all the anchovy stuff, don't you? And all the. Mm. And the salty stuff. Yeah. So, but, so, I'm getting there. I'm actually getting I'm, into I'm it. I'm salty and, rather than sweet. Yeah, and I'm just fat with lard. Um, Alright, folks, get your laders.